Welcome back to Investor Intel. I'm Peter Clausey, and today I'm very happy and excited to hear about a new story from Cultivar Holdings. With us is its COO and founder, Dr. Raoul Kushwa. Thank you for coming. Uh, it's a pleasure being here. Now, when I first heard about the, your story behind the company, I was very excited because this is something I care about. Um, you're in the cannabis space, right? Well, we are more of the cannabis technology space. Good point. Um, I had written articles and complained in the lead up to the legalization of cannabis that the police did not have the tools they needed to keep our roads safe, that they could not measure impairment. I found nothing out there that worked. And apparently you have new technology that does. Uh, absolutely. So uh, even now there's nothing out there. I mean, any tools that are in development are designed to measure THC. And just because you can measure THC does not mean you're looking at impairment. So that's the big Pandora's box that no one is addressing. And we are the first ones in this space that are tackling impairment. So you measure impairment as it's defined in the criminal code. Exactly. Or is it criminal code or Highway Traffic Act? So our impairment technology is designed both for workplace and law enforcement. And oh, okay. it's targeting both cannabis and alcohol. Uh, there must be some AI or machine learning involved in there. It's complete AI-based algorithm. So we are looking at a few hundred parameters on your face and in your voice to identify if you're impaired or not. And just think about a workplace. I mean, even for alcohol, you cannot just bring out breathalyzers. But this kind of face and voice scanning technology, you can actually roll it out on a massive scale. So is, is it a passive technology or an active technology? It's an active technology because, I mean, the technology is adapting every single day. So uh, let's say for workplace, I mean, as I was saying, you can have a waiver at the door that everyone who's coming in is being screened for impairment. Whoa, whoa, a waiver at the door. So when you hire somebody, you can get them to sign a waiver, you can analyze their data, and then as they work in your workplace, you will know on a daily basis who's impaired. Absolutely. What about in a public space like a bar or a restaurant? I mean, you can actually utilize the technology anywhere. Like, I mean, the other example I can give you is, for instance, cars. You can roll out the technology in a car. That if you're impaired, you get in a car, you just cannot start the car anymore. Airplanes, airports, you name it. The technology can be rolled out anywhere because it's not a breathalyzer. So can it be used by law enforcement? Oh, absolutely. Because, uh, again, uh, if you look at the case that happened in Nova Scotia, they just measured someone's THC levels, but the court pretty much said that, okay, we want evidence of impairment, not THC. Right. So uh, any tool out there, they're just looking at THC, and THC does not solve the problem because the issue is impairment, not THC. Right, and different people have different reactions to different levels of THC. Not only that, the only time you'll see a correlation between THC and impairment is if you can look at the THC levels in the brain. And clearly you cannot do that unless you do a brain biopsy. So is your technology small enough to be worn by an officer in his body armor? Yes, the technology is adaptable such that it can be used anywhere because the algorithms are sitting on the cloud. And uh, what you really have is an interface which is doing face and voice recognition and it's talking to the algorithm on the cloud. So do you sell boxes or do you sell data services? Uh, it's both. But the, the data is where the magic is. Exactly. Right. So you're listed on the CSC with a great symbol, mm -hmm. C-U-L-T. You have a cult following. Mm -hmm. uh, how many shares do you have issued note? Uh, it's around uh, 103 million. And what kind of a market cap does that give you? So uh, based on our, um, I mean, based on what we are trading at today, that gives us around, uh, I would say, 15 million. And how much revenue are we expecting this year, next year? Well, I mean, so uh, we are anticipating to be uh, revenue positive with our technology this year. And uh, I'm not going to go into exact numbers because, I mean, I can pull any number out of my mouth. It does not mean much. I mean, we believe in action. We believe in showing what we can do. So we are not just talking about that, yeah, we'll be developing technology for the next couple of years. What we are saying is we are going to be launching an actual technology this year, which no one has done so far. Even breathalyzers for THC haven't been launched in the market. There has been a promise of that, that happening over the last few years, but clearly it has not happened. So we've all seen magic technology make its way to market and then disappear because it hasn't been sold correctly. How are you selling your technology? 
So right now, we already have two agreements in place. One is with a multi-billion dollar uh, technology company called Tech Mahindra. They're operational all over the world. They have humongous operations in Silicon Valley as well. And they work with Fortune 500 clients. So they're seeing a need for this technology. Sorry, are they going to be a distributor or a manufacturer? No, we are doing everything. So they are just going to be giving us leads for all the different clients out there. And in addition to that, we have signed an agreement with Hindalco, which is one of the largest aluminum players in the world. And their interest is, uh, lies in using our technology for mining and manufacturing, and they have operations all over the world. It's fantastic. I, I'm, I'm truly excited to hear about this because there is nothing on the market that I know of. So yeah. can we check back in with you in a couple of months, see how sales are going and those uh, distribution agreements are growing? Anytime. I truly appreciate the information. Signing off from Investor Intel, thank you for your time, doctor. Thank you. It was a pleasure talking to you.